All right, everyone, let's get real for a few minutes. I've been chatting about burnout in the cybersecurity community on LinkedIn, and wow, it struck a chord. So I thought, why not make a video? If you're on YouTube, you can catch all the action on my LinkedIn at Rock Lambros. Burnout is an issue that is close not only to my heart, but to many in our cybersecurity community. And as you can see, I'm repping my Colorado Equal Security community. Burnout isn't just feeling like you are dragging ass after a long day. It's this deep, just like gnawing thing that messes with both your personal well-being and on the job performance. So here's my burnout story. I was running the security program for an oil and gas company here in Denver where I live. We got scooped up by a megacorp and we went from being a Fortune 1000 company to a Fortune 25 company practically overnight. Two years of crazy integration work later, I was done. Toast. We ran hard for two years. I knew my time was coming to an end, not only because corporate was absorbing more and more of my responsibilities, but also because I was struggling to get out of bed each and every morning and make that drive up by 25 into the office. That's when I did some soul searching, took a breather, and bam, Rock Cyber was born. Sometimes you just need to hit that reset button. In cybersecurity, the pressure's always on. The threats, they don't take a break, and frankly, neither do we. Burnout can creep up silently, but bite us hard in the ass. But here's the deal. We can combat burnout together. Frankly, as a leader, it just comes down to giving a shit about your employees and coworkers. Sadly, we all know those leaders who don't. But you know what? You are not one of them. You are different. You are part of the solution. Burnout isn't just about endless hours. It's the nature of our work, the environment. Have you ever heard of Jeff Cooper's color code system? It's about situational awareness, staying sharp, and staying ready. The system consists of four color-coded levels, and we're going to add a fifth. White, which is totally clueless. You know, in the white zone, people are in their little world. They're totally zoned out. They're chilling. They're not even thinking about what's around them. Picture someone strolling down the street, jamming to their tunes, face glued to their phone, totally unaware, like any day in downtown Denver. And then yellow is cool but sharp. Now, in this phase, people are switched on, but they're still cool. They're keeping an eye out, you know. They're in that sweet spot. They're relaxed but ready to jump into action if they got it. Three is heads up, orange. Okay, so when you're in the orange, you spotted something fishy. You're zeroing in on it, trying to figure out what's up. You're not freaking out, but you're definitely ready to handle whatever's coming your way. And the red is, to sad, it's red alert. Red's where things get real. You've clocked a serious threat, and your all systems go, all hands on deck with it. It's not, I mean, it is the top tier of alertness, but there's no messing around here. And then there's black, which is <laughs> frozen. Now, Cooper didn't explicitly talk about black, but it's a biggie. When you're so overwhelmed, you just freeze, like a deer in the headlights, you know? Your brain's saying, run or fight, but you're just stuck. And that's not a good place to be in the cyber world or, quite frankly, in the physical world, for that matter. Cooper's system, it encourages individuals to maintain a proactive mindset and adjust their level of awareness based on their perception of potential threats, allowing for a more effective response to various situations. Sounds like something a SOC would want to pick up. And in cybersecurity operations, many of us operate in the orange or red all day, every day, and find it hard to go into the yellow or even white uh, when we disconnect. But like, what's that disconnect, right? And that, that pushes us into the black zone, which is burnout. Think about it. Like, we're always on the move. Threats evolve daily. We've got to stay on top of our toes. And that's stressful. This always on mentality creates a unique kind of stress where the pressure to keep up is it's crushing. Next, consider the high stakes. You miss one thing and boom, there's big trouble. And the weight of this responsibility is a constant parasite attached to the side of our neck, just sucking the life out of many of us. And I haven't even mentioned keeping up with the constant tech changes. It's nonstop. We have to constantly adapt. It's not just about the work we do today but also about constantly preparing for the threats of tomorrow. Plus, hey, not everyone gets what we do. And this can be extremely frustrating. Cybersecurity work is complex and technical, 
and it can be challenging when our work isn't recognized by others or understood by others in the business. In our book, The CISO Evolution, Business Knowledge for Cybersecurity Executives, Matt Sharper and I talk about this disconnect, which leading to burnout. I mean, do you ever feel like you're just like not getting through? Do you ever feel like the business doesn't get it and that I'll be the chief scapegoat officer? Well, yeah, me too. These thoughts constantly just like in the back of your head grinds away at you. I've been there. And if you are anyone from a junior cybersecurity analyst with any decent tenure in the workforce to a seasoned battle-tested cybersecurity executive and you were to sit across the table from me and you were to tell me that you haven't ever had any of these thoughts, I will tell you that you were lying straight to your damn face. Because you are. Hell, I even just heard that CISO now stands for convicted, <laughs> convicted in short order. Seriously? And people wonder why Forbes published an article on how one in six CISOs turn to medicine and alcohol to deal with the stress? This is not good, people. All these factors combined create for a perfect storm of burnout. But understanding these risks, it's the first step towards managing them. Spotting burnout early is uber important. It doesn't just hit you out of the blue. It creeps up on you bit by bit. So you got to be on the lookout for those telltale signs. First up, there's chronic fatigue. And man, do I feel it right now making this video. And we're not talking about the regular, hey, I need a nap type of tired. This is more like a never ending kind of tiredness where even a good night's sleep doesn't cut it. I call it being professionally tired. And then there's feeling cynical or disconnected and I'm totally guilty of this one. It's like you start feeling bleh about your job, your team, and the goals that used to fire you up and motivate you. Is your performance also taking a nosedive? Well, that's another big red flag. Maybe you're finding it harder to focus, solve problems, or make decisions. In a high stakes field like cybersecurity, that's not just a bad day at the office. It can really screw things up. Brain fog during the, during the fog of war can be a resume generating event and even career ending. Physical stuff like heartaches, headaches, stomach troubles, or being tense all the time they often get brushed off, but guess what? They're also signs of burnout. And here's a big one. Feeling like you're just spinning your wheels. Like no matter how hard you work, it's never enough. That's a classic burnout move. Introduce me to someone in this field that doesn't experience any of these. Go ahead. Oh wait. Seriously though, if you or someone you know is ticking these boxes, don't just shrug it off. It is a big effing deal. Understanding burnout is important, but taking proactive steps to combat it is crucial. Let's break it down a bit. Getting work-life balance right is super important. One of my LinkedIn friends recently told me he shifted his mindset from work-life balance to life-work balance, and I couldn't agree more. It's all about hitting that sweet spot where you can unplug, kick back, and recharge your batteries. Taking breaks during work, you know, yeah, that's a biggie too. Even a one, even a quick time out can shake off the stress and sharpen your focus. Now, diving into hobbies and stuff you love outside of work, it isn't just fun. It's a must do for your mental game. Be it hitting the gym, painting, hiking, skiing, or, you know, whatever floats your boat. These things give you a break from the grind and a fresh perspective. In our field, we have to keep cool under pressure. Mindfulness and exercise are your best friends in this effort. Yoga, meditation, hitting the gym, these things dial down the stress big time. And hey, I'm preaching to myself here too. But here's the thing, it's not all on you. It simply can't be. No, workplaces have got to step up as well. Creating a culture that prioritizes mental health must be a top priority. Managers doing regular check-ins, that's gold. It helps them keep tabs on how the team's doing and to tweak things before everyone's just running on empty. Fighting burnout? Well, hell, that's a team sport. Mixing up these personal strategies with what the organization does, it's how we make our workplaces healthier and more sustainable for everyone. And in the cybersecurity world, building a sustainable work culture isn't just a nice to have, it's a must have for the long haul. I mean, hell, it's a must have for the future of our industry. Collectively, we can do this, but how? It's more than just about 
cutting back on hours. It's about fle flexible schedules. You have to get the personal life thing right by saying yes to time off. Let's face it, life's full of stuff. Doctor's appointments, sick kids, you name it. Like with me dealing with frozen pipes in my basement last week. Giving your team some wiggle room, well, that's where the magic happens. You'll see productivity will go up, not down. Everyone wins. In our, our fast-paced cybersecurity game, always learning new tricks keeps you sharp and helps dodge burnout. And employees and leaders, you must provide these opportunities. And employees, you must capitalize on these opportunities. On-the-job training <laughs> doesn't count. Open communication is key too. Creating a space where everybody feels like they can speak up makes a huge difference. And Matt and I wrote about this in the book as well. And don't forget wellness programs, stuff like mindfulness sessions, stress management workshops, um, regular health checkups. They're investments in your team's well-being that will directly contribute to your organization's success. And then last but not least, a little appreciation goes a long way. Recognizing your team's hard work makes them feel overvalued. And hey, I mean, you don't need a special reason for a team lunch or outing. I took my team to an escape room once, and it was a blast, even though, frankly, I wasn't much help. I could feel some of the tension just released from everybody's shoulders as we worked through the puzzles. By putting these ideas into play, we can build a work culture and cybersecurity where, just, where everyone just feels valued, supported, and ready to go. A healthy work environment boosts productivity and takes care of our team's well-being. So let's pull together and make this happen in our community. Okay, so in case you are more dense than the singularity of a black hole and haven't picked up on my message, burnout in the cybersecurity community is real. It's no joke, it's big, it's a messy issue, but guess what, we've got this. With a bit of know-how and a dash of empathy and some forward-thinking moves, we can totally handle it. Now, battling burnout isn't just about what you or I do solo. It's bigger than that. It's about building a culture at work where everyone's mental health and finding that sweet spot between life and work matter. <laughs> See what I did there? Life then work, not work then life. We're all in this together. And even the smallest steps count when it comes to making our workplaces happier and healthier. I truly hope this video has given you some solid tips and tricks for spotting, handling, and nipping burnout in the bud. Your mental health is just as crucial, if not more crucial, than the incredible work you do keeping our digital world safe. Let's have each other's backs. For more information and resources on cybersecurity and mental health, check out the links in the description below. Be well, everyone. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more. Got your own uh, burnout stories or ideas? Drop them in the comments. I'd love to hear from you and hear from all of your perspectives. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for letting me vent. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay sound, and let's keep, let's keep rocking the battle against cybersecurity threats and the burnout.